is at a splash pad where you found some kids finding some success in staying cool, huh? Yeah, you know, Chris, it's a blast out here. We're at the historic Fourth Ward splash pad, and it is just a lot of fun. A lot of kids out here trying to find a way to cool off. Thankfully, Mother Nature's catched us a little bit of a shadow. And I've got my buddy out here, too. I'm going to see if I can call him over. He's having a lot of fun right now playing in the water himself. Benji, come on over here, man. All right, Benji, what's your favorite thing to do in the summer and your best, your favorite thing to do to cool off? Um, be in the splash pad um, and um, be inside. And be inside. That's a good way to cool off. What about ice cream? You like ice cream? Yeah. And when you're at the splash pad doing your favorite thing, what's your favorite thing to do out here? Um, um, play, um, at the playing ground. Yeah, that's fun. And running through the big fountain. You had told me that earlier. The big fountain. You like running through that, right? Mm -hmm. Show us, show us how it's done. Give me some. <laughs> that's how you do it, y'all. That's how you have a lot of fun out here. It's a beautiful day out here for it because it's hot. Whenever it's hot, you want to be out here at the splash pad. That's a nice place to cool off. And we're going to continue to have weather like this as we head throughout this next week. You just heard it from Chris. Temperatures rising into the 90s each day. This is a great way to find a way to cool off. You also want to make sure that you're taking plenty of breaks if you're going to be outside doing any work. And if you can't make it out here to the splash pad, drink water every 15 minutes and just find a way to cool off. That was thunder, which means that we're all about to head inside. Remember, when thunder roars go indoors, we're going to have uh, some natural splash pad from Mother Nature here in just a moment at the historic Fourth Ward Park. We're going to keep you updated on these storms all throughout these next few hours and, of course, continue to keep you updated on this heat. Jeff and Sheba. Always a lesson that I learned when I was a little kid learning to play golf that mm -hmm. if you can hear any kind of thunder, you've got to stop. You've got to stop what you're doing right now and get away yeah. because lightning can strike anywhere in that area. All right. You should communicate that to the kids out there as yep. well, Andrew. Thank you so much. Okay.